Right, what's cracking everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. Today is Wednesday. You know what that means? Wes Watson Wednesday. Today's video is called California Prison Gangs, of course. But we're on level three. He was on uh, level four the last uh, last week. He talked about a level four he was never on. Uh, I think he's going to talk about a level three he's never been on. Oh, he has been level three, though, apparently. Right. Briefly. Allegedly. So we're going to see what he has to say about level threes today. Let's get it. Level three, level three. I'm going to tell. Let's take in the hair. Level three, level three. About those back at the park. Never mind. Tell you how it is on a level three yard Tell me. in CDC, which is a California Department of Corrections. Level threes are militant as during my time at level threes. I spent most of my time in level threes. Level I don't have it here. Hold on. Let's see. I see already. I need to get the other one over here. Let's go back. I apologize. I wasn't ready. Here we go. California Department of Corrections. Level threes are militant as fuck. During my time at level threes, I spent most of my time in level three. Shut up! Wasn't me, Wes. Most of your time in a level three. <laughs> <laughs> Got sentenced to nine years. Some house claims have done ten, and he probably did more than six. Five. And most of it was on a level three. Dorm. There's no level three dorms, Wes. Most of your pictures, I think all of your pictures that you posted on IG while you were incarcerated, you were in a gym. What do I know? Level threes are only cell living. Mm. Level fours are only cell yes, living. Yes, thank you. The level three building is set up like a 270, like I said before. You walk in mm -hmm. under the guard tower and it opens up into a building that is a U shape. It's A, B, and C section. This is a 270 block. There will never be a 180 design in a level three facility. Some level three facilities, the way old ones, San Quentin and shit like that, they're five tiers. These are the older prisons. Most of the new ones are gonna be 270 blocks. Now my whole time in level threes was oh. fucked because the long racial based lockdowns were still in effect. Long racial based lockdowns. If your people keep doing yard cleanup, they keep their own people, they keep their own people up and removing their own people, then you're going on lockdown. The first one's going to start at 45 days. It does not. Next one's going to be 90. The next one's going to be 180. The next one's going to be a year. So let me get this straight. Let's see if we can follow this stupid logic. So apparently nobody ever got until Wes got there. So they started at 45 days. All of this. And then there was another sticking and then they went 90 and then they went 180. If that was true, how come by the time you got in there, uh, one stabbing wasn't a 20 year lockdown? This is so full of shit. It's just the stupidest shit in the world. They, the first one is 45 days. The, the second one is uh, 180 days. They've been people for decades. Welcome to Wes Watson Wednesdays, people. Willy Wonka. And now I can't help it. Every time I see it, Walmart to Walmart. If you keep having to clean up pieces of sh or your people keep up on drug debts, you're going to be on lockdown for a very long time. The crazy thing about the racial based lockdowns, if it's your people. And let's go back to that. I just, that's another thing. He's seen racial based lockdown in your, your own people uh, because you said they're pieces of shit or they have a drug debt. That is not racial. Or a racial lockdown. That is an even quicker lockdown to come off of. Long time. The crazy thing about the racial based lockdowns, if it's your people, is that everybody else is going to be out and about in the day room, but you're on lockdown. How was it racial based lockdown if it's your people? Wesley likes to use buzzwords. I noticed that about him. He uses buzzwords, things that'll get you. Oh, it's racial based. No, he's only, he's only talking about the one the white guys are on. <laughs> well, what do we have on the board? Because I see I'm going to need to utilize this board today. So the homies, the blacks, the others, the Nortenos, everyone's going to be out programming except you. So you're just going to be in your cell like mother trying to go out and hit this yard, hit these bars. 
but you got to get down in the cell. Everyone's always asking, Wes, how do you get big in a mother cell? Wes, how do you put on size in the cell? The first way you put on size in the cell, you don't bitch out on putting on size in the cell. You get up every day. <laughs> the first way you get a size in the cell is you don't bitch out and get into the cell. People pay for this bullshit. And he's all mad right now that everybody, everybody's laughing at him. Remember that? Carrie, the book, they're all going to laugh at you. Calm down, Carrie. And put your motherfucking work in. The realest thing is the pessimist will always complain about the wind. The optimist will always expect it to change. And the realist will adjust the mother fells. We're the mother who will build weights. Do they, do, what, do they say shit like that in the Navy or something? Wes, is, are you part of the yacht club? Where in the f did you get that from? I will build weights and I will make a bodybuilding type routine in the mother cell. Really? I'm not going to do all that calisthenics bullshit. I think I'm going to put on size. That just makes a fat dude have bigger titties. So these fools come out all saggy and shit because they just did calisthenics. They didn't understand how the body builds muscle. So I build weight bags and dumbbell type zine stacks to hit shoulders, to hit arms, and to hit every body part. Now, there's no phase off. There hasn't been for a long time. And we stay focused on the main goal, which is healthy, coming out strong mentally and physically. You do this by perfecting a solid routine. I've said it a million times, and I'll say it again. On a year-long lockdown, I turn my mother TV against the wall, and I focus on growth, internal growth. I focus on physical growth. I focus on mind, body, so I know what's going to happen if I... I ain't closed off for a minute. His TV was against the wall? You shot that player. People used to do that in the shoe. Wes happens to think that Ad Seg is the shoe. Or even if, if like, they put you on lockdown, but you stay in your cell, all of a sudden, your cell is the shoe. <laughs> it is little tiny baby hands. Weird looking. I choose to just watch TV all day. We know what the fuck we're doing. We're a product of our actions. We look like exactly what we do. A mother with titties... A soft ass mother can't tell me he's fart. I can see right through his soft ass. Steel is hard, no matter who holds it, right? So the steel is still hard. You dumb. I know dudes that were fat. I knew dudes that were fit, and they both do the same type of damage with the weapon, as long as they know how to use it. So your analogy is stupid. <clears throat> put a put a shirt on, you dumb. Why am I calling him a dumb? Like I'm, I don't do personal attacks. Felt right. So don't think you aren't a f exact product of what you've been doing your whole mother life. Why are you cussing so much? Why? Is it like cussing is usually used for emphasis. This is overemphasis. This is bordering. It's just like moronic at this point. The, the way he cusses is the way his hairline is. This is ridiculous. So these three fucking yards, these three yards are militant. And there's always yard cleaning. Why does he keep touching his glasses? You got me making stupid faces just to put on. There's always <clears throat> problems. There's problems with your neighbors. There's problems with every race. This is the main problem with your neighbors that I'm talking about. Say you got a dipshit celly. I have a million times. The cops hit your pad. Now the cops hit your pad, meaning search your house and they fill your house up. Now you got that loud mouth celly who couldn't keep his feelings in check and he talks shit to the cops. Now the cops aren't stupid. They're not going to just hem him up. They're going to say, oh, I got you. Where were you at that you keep getting sellies like that? He should have known you don't bring heat to the pad. But we're the shot caller, so that's a failure on you, Mr. Shot Caller. Everywhere you go, they give you the keys because you got your driver's license. And your driver's license is your 128, and then sometimes it's your tattoos, the WW. Somehow that's your driver's license. It's just all kinds of stupid shit made you the shot caller everywhere you went. So the fact that your sellies, and it's you always had them, you always had dumb sallies, he said. The fact that you had sallies with poor education is a complete reflection on you, Mr. Shot Caller, and cellmate. The guy was in your cell and was he, he, he had zero respect for you is basically what I'm saying. I don't want to run around in a circle. He had no respect for you because all you did was sit on your bunk and read these books um, about gibberish and drink milk, probably a lot of milk for your, your muscles, and did push-ups in the dorm. They're going to go hit your neighbor's house. Your neighbor happens to be black or a homie, South Sider. They're going to go hit your neighbor's house. Mm -hmm. They're going to follow each up time 50. And they're going to say, hey, go thank your neighbor over there, that white boy who fished up. 
That's why we came and hit your house, fool. Being disrespectful on the block. That's why you're not disrespectful to CEOs. You're not disrespectful to anyone. You left a huge part out. When your cell is, and again, you said this has happened all the time, all the years that you were in level three. Uh, and all the years you were in level three, um, all your cellies kept doing that. They kept getting Southsiders hit, cells hit and blacks cells hit. And you never bull bombed none of them. You were the shot caller. You never corrected that. That's why everywhere you went, they just knew they needed you to be the leader because everybody could do whatever the f they wanted if you were in charge. <laughs> if you were ever in charge. Because anybody you're disrespectful to, it falls on your whole mother face. This is something people need to learn out here. You don't disrespect anybody because you don't know who that person have you seen yourself on Fresh and Fit? You want to go and watch your, yourself? How horrible you, like, you want to watch it and then come back? All right, let's finish. It could be. We carry a high level of respect on these three yards. Three yards are the second most militant. It's got the second most politics. It'll never have a hands. I've never seen a no hands policy at a three yard. Only seen that on a four yard. At a three yard, a white boy can go call another white boy out into the cell and handle his business. If he handles his business in another okay, whites, I don't know. Their spot, there's usually going to be a problem. Some places will have a designated area where you could go get them up in the day room, but usually that's left for the cell. Except your cell. Your cell is allowed to disrespect everyone else, and then you just go back in the cell and then you like clean up. He gets on his bunk like eight that. And then you clean everything up and then you get back on your bunk. And then your Sally just gets on the door and starts kicking on it so the cops can come back and do it all over again. <laughs> again, you guys were in the dorm, though. You didn't have a cell door. <clears throat> now, in the fuck level threes, mm -hmm. you're going to spend a lot of mother time in your cell, so you're going to need your hot pot for your coffee. You're going to need your bag of soups under your bed for the lockdown. I stayed with the 150 top ramen under my bed, tucked. Never 149 or level do one? What happened when you ate one? Did a one, another one magically appear? So you always stayed at 150? How does this work? Because whenever I ate one, I lost one. Oh, I probably bought the wrong kind of soups. At all times, <laughs> at 20 bags of beans, in case that year-long lockdown hit yeah. and we couldn't get canteen. You always keep that lockdown bag under the fucking bed. Lockdown bag has five... Oh, so he's saying that was a lockdown bag. That's not even counting his other stuff. Come on, Wes. Your Sally's a dump truck and you, you love it, so... Jars of coffee, 150 soups, 20 bags of beans. You don't touch that motherfucker. That's the necessities for life in there. When shit goes foul, that's how you're going to live. Mm. Sometimes you get caught off guard, and that's what's going to change a motherfucker. That pain when you're starving. That pain when you can't come out the cell. Pain because you can't come out the cell? Pain? Mm. Shit, I've been there on fucking... On Christmas Eve, been on a year-long lockdown, and they were they were nice enough to bring around the phone on wheels so that each cell could make a five-minute phone call. I happened to call my little princess, and she didn't even fucking answer. But I heard she put money on the phone, so I was pumped on that. Life turns into a motherfucker in there. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid <laughs> i even called my princess but she didn't answer but she put money on the phone <laughs> so i was pumped on that life answer but i heard she put money on the phone i happened to call my little princess and she didn't even answer but i heard she put money on the phone so i was pumped on that where was she eh? look at wes is funny eh? Oh my God! Hey, but at least there's a soft part. There's a look at it. Oh, his princess. Hey, she <laughs> uh, life turns into a mother from there. I'm telling you guys, nobody's strong enough. I wasn't strong enough. What? You're not strong enough. What? Nobody's gonna make it. His hairline definitely wasn't strong enough. You only make it because you're forced to. Wait, nobody makes it, but you only make it because you're forced to. This shit, the gibberish is coming. Get ready, guys. I'm telling you guys, nobody's strong enough. I wasn't strong enough. Uh, you're not strong enough. Me? I did it. Nobody's going to make it. You no. only make it because you're forced to. <sighs> Level three yard, most people, when you first get busted, most mm -hmm. people with normal crimes are going to land a low level three, which is going to be in the 30 point range. Fucking, it's going to be 28 to 36 point. No, it's going to be 35 
to 60 points is going to be level three range. 35 to 19 points is level two range. So most people would not. Why does he know all the points? I'm telling you guys, listen, I was incarcerated in the CDC for over 24 years. I just know, hey, I was on level four. You go, why does he know all the biz? Vato had time to read the title 15. Come on, Wes. How do you, he knows the definitions. He read the DOM, the Department Operational Manual, and he read the California Title 15, which is the rules and regulations of the California Department of Corrections. How did you have time to read all of the rules and regulations? This mother was not trying to break a rule, is what it is. He wanted to know every single rule so he knew what to do and what not to do so he could get out in his five years, eight months. AKA 10 years. <laughs> he wasn't even sentenced to 10 years. Bar fights, normal ass shit, fucking DUI, vehicular manslaughter. Most people come in on dope cases, anything like that. They're most likely going to end up on a three yard. And even if you don't, you end up on a two yard and you're probably dumb enough to fucking get caught with some stupid shit. Or you're probably going to have to put in your motherfucker. All you motherfuckers will have to if you want a BGP. So you'll come in with 25 points on your first term. Motherfight boys are going to have you put in work. Wes, what work did you put in? You got in a fist fight over a dude telling you you're doing your dips wrong. It's the only thing you ever did. Oh, and then you got jumped. You got beat up. I forgot that story. You got beat up. They jumped you. They DP'd you in a level two dorm. Work's going to be eight to 25 points. No matter, no matter what it is, it's going to be a My fight bad. at the lowest. It's going to be SBI at the highest. So you're going to get eight to 25 points on your 25, your initial 25 points you came in on. And that's going to put you at a level three. Now you're at the level three. You're with the big dogs. These are the mother who it's just going to always be an issue. Level three, level four. That's the highest. That's cell living. It's a different life. The dorm living is completely different. I've seen it crack off at dorms even worse. We'll get to that later. But what Thank I you. always want to stress to you guys is how quick shit gets back. Shit gets worse. You always think your life's bad, but think about how quick, how worse it can get so fucking quickly just by this, the decisions you choose to make. We need to be smarter than this shit. You need to take the fuck ups from a mother who's been there, done that shit, and realize it's just pain. And the fuck ones who won't admit it is just pain. And they like to glorify it. It's because they're fake ass mother. One didn't age well. There's so many parts of this video that did not age well, but I'm listening. He could just keep pushing it from those mother. And there we have it. Wait a minute. Oh, is, is he going to do a commercial for the other, ch the other channel? There's still a minute and a half. Huh? Almost a minute and a half. Let's see. I hope it's a commercial. Stop yeah. fucking that beanie kill. Hey, brother. The kid got the Hulk Hogan outfit on. Let's see. This is the same one. Waiting. It's me the perfect time. Never? never. In fact, it's never going to be the perfect time. In fact, it means a lot more if it's not the perfect time and you still see it through. Nobody is impervious to the negative self talk. I got to react to some of this big channel. I keep forgetting. Nobody is impervious to not wearing a shirt. See, he has a hoodie on and then he's got it all zipped down. The mother excuses that pop up in your head daily. Books can assist. <laughs> Look at the way he wears his beauty and he's got a little tight. He's got a fluff of hair sticking out. It's just sticking out. Like, hey, how you guys doing? I, I, there is some in here. That's all that's for. That's the welcome committee right there on the front end. You. They can assist you, why but it you, cannot be you done through study. It can only be done through life. Okay. I don't know what blocks these messages. What? Overconsumption of entertainment, overconsumption of vices, lack of suffering. Vague goals promote vague mother results. You know exactly what you want. Don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to yourself. How many subscribers does that channel have? We should check. So it's the Beanie Channel. Is that what it's called? Wes Watson's Beanie Channel? Anyways, he's wasting our time even more with this shit. Damn, why did I cuss? I was trying that because he cusses so much. You, you got a, just a, a, a tip for the rest of you that want to react to Wes Watson. He cusses so much. You got to try not to cuss at all. Um, talk so much gibberish. I think the computer can't figure out what the hell he's saying. It, the computer gets confused. Anyways, that's my video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did. Do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the share button, share with somebody who you think you would who would like it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you feel about this video. 
Everybody, please be safe. Be smart and tell the ones you love that you love them, right? Hold up. Where are we at? Oh, this is the wrong one. See, you guys threw me off. Not you, but you guys. When I say you guys, I'm stupid as being. 